what about that energetic ball that seems to be at the core of the earth, that molten metal that continues to be hot and uh, seems to also be there? It is not mentioned in the scriptures, according to the person who is writing in, and uh, they want to know why that is or if you have some sort of thoughts about the fact that uh, that was never mentioned, even though it is something that does seem to exist, the core of the earth that is hot and maybe even, you know, uh, uh, produces energy much like the sun does. Well, I don't, I you know, I, I've, I've looked at this subject of the sun and the earth's core, there was a writer, a very fascinating, interesting researcher, uh, an older guy I heard on another radio show a long time ago, and I've been following his work. His name was Ian, I-A-N, Ian, can't remember his last name now, now that I need it, I can't remember it, but uh, he he's written so many books, I think he was from South Africa, uh, and, and he was writing about the earth and how it was formed, etc. And he said that all of the planets scientifically are provable, scientifically, that all the planets in our solar system are hollow at the core. They have to be hollow at the core. And, and maybe a small core, it's not the whole, you know, like that, uh, the inner earth, uh, story about the inside of the earth as a whole universe and we are actually living on the inside of the earth and all of that stuff but this particular writer and this particular uh, uh, scientist was fascinating to listen to as he explained that his book was, was a very thick book written about the hollow earth and that the earth is hollow at the center just as all the other planets are also and why they have to be hollow. According to scientific investigation, they have to be hollow. And and uh, I, I can't remember his name. I'm sure it was Ian was his original first name. Uh, but uh, he brought out the fact that it has to be hollow because of experiments that have been done with sound waves in the Earth and that, uh, you know, the Earth itself is not molten, a molting lava at the center at all. That is just a, it's just a cover story that has no basis in scientific fact at all. Uh, and that his book was highly recommended on on. Uh, he was ta- he was talking on one of the r- big shows I heard, and he was saying that he's gotten so many responses from scientists around the world. Uh, uh, after reading his book that the earth is actually hollow at the core and that it has gotten great reviews from all kinds of universities and, and scientists and, and uh, researchers on the subject. They all have said that the book was astoundingly brilliantly written and that it very well could very well be true because of the scientific stuff he was talking about that proves the earth is hollow at its core. When you see the molten uh, lava coming out of the volcanoes, mm-hmm. that, well, okay, so it's coming out of the earth. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that the molten lava goes all the way down to the center of the earth. It's all the earth itself. is nothing but molten lava. No, I don't think that at all. I don't think that is true at all. That the, the when you see a volcano that's close to the surface, but that's not what the earth is way down deep into, into, inside the earth. It's not all molten lava. We know that there are huge bodies of water uh, uh, in the earth. We know that there's enormous bodies of water, whole uh, oceans of water under the earth along with the molten lava. And so uh, I don't think that there's molten lava under the earth all over the earth all the way down to the core i don't think that at all that's that's ludicrous is my opinion Mm. so i think that the molten lava that we're seeing coming out of volcanoes are very close to the surface and that there is something going on just beneath the surface of the earth you know that where lava does exist but it doesn't go all the way down through the earth so that the entire earth is filled with lava i don't i don't think that's logical at all it doesn't make sense to me and besides i've heard scientists talking about this 
And they are saying that the earth is actually hollow at the center. 